guys welcome back to my channel if you're interested in to see how i made this beautiful baby frock dress please watch the end first we are making a full circle so i divided my waist by six I, I, uh, my waist measurement plus five inches divided by 6.28 that is what i use plus the length of the skirt first to we'll be cutting the longer one so on the slow mo this is how i folded the fabric first into four like this into two then into four then i fold it over again like this this is how i fold my fabric did you see did you count how many everything is closed on the side that is how you achieve a full circle so this uh, the circumference gave me four points five when i divided by by 6.28 meanwhile don't forget to add your five inches because you'll be putting elastic in this skirt you need some so i measured five in with the top one five inch shorter than the longer one so to cut our blouse we need the basic base basic bodies uh, pattern in my previous video i've showed how to make basic body pattern so this is my basic bodies i will be making some adjustments to it because this is a regular body so and you know this uh, particular uh, top is off shoulder so we'll cut uh, some inches off at the top so i'll be cutting off 2.5 inch no. Or two inches I cut off two inches off at the top then I came in by two inches because I want this to be um, what's it called like a wrangler effect so I first cut that one off on the side then I'll cut off the neck part i know i used 2.5 so i trim off the half inch too so this is what we have guys if you open it up you have something like this you see it's already giving us the effect we want so now i'll put this on my i place this on my fabric your fabric is already folded into two because there's no zipper you can choose to cut both front and back together at the same time there is no zipper allowance at the back there is nothing to differentiate the back from the front since it will be it will have elastic on the top part and elastic on the down part so right now i'll make sure my paper is aligned on the fabric properly then i measured what we have there usually i just leave five inch in front then i move my pattern backwards i'll demonstrate that now i just move my pattern backwards towards the end of the fabric then i measured five five inch in front i'll demonstrate that now for you i just want to align this and make sure it's well aligned so this is it guys i'll mark that So I will shift this back five inches backwards then I will now trace that and out with my chalk then make sure then right now you see what we have to so have enough room both at top and downward so I make sure that is well aligned that space at the top I will still be needing it so I mat it to fold my elastic casing so right now this is what uh, we'll be folding for the sleeve this is um this is 25 inches so i'll fold it into two i measure the length of my of my sleeve i want to use eight inches same thing with the other one you know we'll be cutting 
so right now I'll place my bodies on the side of the sleeve and I'll trace it out to get that curve effect so that is it guys for the sleeve so I'll cut this one out now so that's it we have two for the main uh, body's hand two sleeve so now we'll be cutting band for our skirts this is a uh, 17 inches it's longer than what we want actually we just need to measure the circumference of the circle plus like two or three inches just to be on the safer side then the width will be three inches wide since i'll be using one inch elastic but i decided to make this one 3.25 just in case just to give extra room so right now guys this is it i will join my lines together and cut this out just a long strip of fabric so this one is a uh, 37 oh, excuse me 32 inches long which is by far longer than what we want so i trimmed off the excess on this edge and um right now i'll use this ribbon to to i'll sew it around the edge of my skirts i'll do the same for the top one too and i'll join it together right side will be on the right side make sure you don't face the wrong side over the right side both should be on the right side so right now the long uh, strip so right now i pin the uh, straight fabric to the skirt both skirts together all at once and i ironed on the edge by out 0 0.5 inch down i did that all around i make sure that i have a little bit of excess here as you can see so when i'm done joining the whole thing i'll join that excess together on the strip and then i'll join the whole thing like that so i'm done joining can you see what we have here so and i joined that excess that's a I joined it together and I trimmed off the excess. So right now I will fold it on the joint edge like this and I'll sew it. Then this my elastic is 22 inches. This is for a eight years old. Though later when she came for fitting, I later had to like, uh, it was too loose. So I later had to cut off like two inches. So I used like 20 inches for the elastic how to know what uh, depends on your client's uh, how to know the amount of uh, elastic you use depends on your client's waist measurement so this is it guys i i stitch that down and stitch that part close to so this is what we have this is the end result of our skirt are you liking it already okay let's go to our blouse so stitching of the blouse I whip the edges all around, then I join the sides together. I'll take this, this sewing machine now and join the sides together. I already used Saja to serge it all around. So the for the sleeve too, I did the same thing. I'll first sew the M. I'll sew a casing for my elastic. So for the down part, my waist measurement is um 25 or there about so you remove like three inches you put the elastic because you want the elastic to be firm yes you don't want it to be too tight or too loose so i made a casing for the elastic on the down part and now i'll use the pin to insert the elastic and i joined the the arm o two. meanwhile i put elastic on the sleeve on the down part already so what i'll do to finish up now is to do elastic casing on the neck part and put elastic on the neck so this is what we have guys i tuck it in and put a satin belt such around it my client wanted scrunchy so i made it scrunchy thanks for watching guys